Round two. Fight. Game. Round two. Fight. Round two. Fight. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're watching this in the world, I hope you guys are doing okay. So those clips that you just saw are the new but also old game-breaking bug that is being discovered in Mortal Kombat 1. Now when I say new but also old is that this issue already occurred not too long ago and it even occurred during a tournament match where a player was robbed of the match because it allowed Raiden to move before the announcer says fight. Now NRS appeared on a combat cast and they said that they had patched this out and for a time we believed them but now it seems that everybody in the roster can do it or almost everybody so essentially like i said before the round even begins you're allowed to move and for a tournament fighting game and yes this is a tournament fighting game it has a pro tour this is a very very serious issue now i would say that their incompetence is unmatched but i think that would be unfair considering the condition and the state that dragon ball fighters is in so they're definitely giving mortal kombat a run for their money but i'd still say Mortal Kombat sits upon the top of the most incompetent fighting games that have been developed in recent memory. Although that Dragon Ball Fight stuff is pretty hilarious. I really do feel sorry for those guys waiting six years for rollback just to get the game in the sorry state that it's in right now. My prayers go out to you guys. Join me over on Sparking Zero when it comes out. I think that's going to be a good time. Anyway, so this new game breaking bug has come out now and I haven't heard of any plans to patch it out right now. It seems to be affecting a lot more characters. This is going to obviously ruin ranked for a lot of people because as I've said before on this channel when you go into ranked is for the purpose of ranking up and to get certain titles now in Mortal Kombat you have titles like demigod god elder god and I think combatant and warrior and those sort of things and so there is an incentive there for you to play online garner points and rank up and it's kind of annoying and frustrating and irritating when you are playing ranked and your opponent can move and you can't and it's not because you're scared of them, it's not because you have jitters, it's not because you've got cold feet, it's because the game literally tells you, you are not moving, only they are. Now, my question to NRS is before you roll out patches, do you try anything out? Is there anyone over at NRS that is testing anything? Like, you didn't even release the correct skins for this season. It's meant to be the Flesh Pit season, it's meant to be all about Melina, and yet it's all about Havoc. All of those god-awful costumes, no matter what character they came out for, they would have looked trash anyway. But they're clearly for Havoc. And this makes me wonder, is there even going to be story expansion for Mortal Kombat? Now, I think that there actually needs to be because one thing that I've stressed about the Mortal Kombat 1 story is that they need to wrap up this multiverse of madness bullshit they've got going on so that when Mortal Kombat 2 comes out, it is just a self-contained story. Now, I don't think they'll do that. I think they have an obsession with trying to be like Marvel, but that would be my hope. But seeing the fact that they have brought out the Season of Chaos and tried to dress it up as the Season of the Huntress or whatever they're calling it would tell me that maybe there's no DLC coming out for the story mode or maybe it's being heavily delayed they need to get out there but still it wouldn't really make sense to me why Melina's season would be skipped over but that's just one issue I mean they've shown their gross incompetence before what really perplexes me is that this is a fighting game the primary reason people play this game is to fight with people people purchase this game with the idea that it would be in a coherent state and that is a word I've used to describe Mortal Kombat for a very very long time incoherent it is incoherent babbling nonsense and I really don't understand how they have been allowed to get away with the nonsense that they have. This has been going on for a very long time. There have been game breaking glitches in Mortal Kombat games for a very, very long time. Something like this is a bit egregious. A, a bit egregious actually is a bit too fair on them. This is very egregious. This is ridiculous. To have a fighting game where one character is locked away and the other one isn't and they basically just get pulverized. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but not too long ago, a player by the name of Vanity was in tournament and they lost the tournament match because they they were fighting against a Raiden. The game said fight and Raiden was able to move before fight started. And in a tournament, that is absolutely unacceptable. Round two. In my opinion, 
this vanity person should have been compensated. Now, I don't know what NRS did to support them. I don't know what NRS did to rectify this issue. I'm assuming they did nothing, but maybe they did and, and I might have missed that. But I think that that is absolutely outrageous. It just goes to show you again that they don't care about this game. They have no intention of trying to improve this game. They keep on releasing patches and it keeps on making the game worse. Even people are saying that Peacemaker is broken. He can basically one touch kill you. He can stop your cameos from even doing anything. So I saw a video where somebody had called Raiden onto the screen and then called their cameo to basically add to the pressure. And you can just call eagerly in to stop the cameos. <laughs> And the thing is, is that the cameo system to me is a bit messed up. And I don't really think there's a way to rectify it. I certainly don't think having one character that just shuts down cameos is the way to go about it. The game is just a mess all over the place. This is not a game that should be played in tournament, in my opinion. It is too messy. It is too all over the place. And NRS clearly does not care. And it seems that the community is responding because the viewership for this game, where I was seeing it yesterday or the day before, whenever this is coming out, was not too high for a tournament game that is relatively new. So maybe the audience audience is responding but I just want to show you guys this is yet another blunder by NRS it seems that they just cannot keep their hands out of the cookie jar and that cookie jar being an absolute mess I'm not entirely sure what they're doing anymore I've, I would really love to speak to the guys at NRS and ask them what is going on does WB have a gun to your head are they purposefully trying to make you destroy Mortal Kombat what is happening how can you be this incompetent and yes it's not just them that are incompetent. People over are doing Dragon Ball Fighters have shown their level of incompetence as well. I don't understand why Rollback took so long to come out and I don't understand why it's come out in the fashion that it has. It seems like the game is done now, which is even worse in Mortal Kombat situation because the game is not even a year old yet and it's already in this god awful state. Now, I don't know how many more seasons are going to come out. I don't know if there's going to be a combat pack too. I don't know if people are just going to continue to gloss over this, but it really is just laughable that they've again patched the game and made it worse. But that's all I wanted to say about that. I want to move on to something else now. Now we're going to move into Tekken and we're going to move into a bit of a debate that has been going on online. So I'm going to roll these clips for you guys to see first and then we're going to get into it. So as you can see there, the topic of conversation is going to be surrounding Ling Xiaoyu. Now Ni, nee, legendary Tekken player, arguably the best Tekken player of all time, the one with the most awards to his name, the most tournament winnings, the most trophies, basically the most decorated Tekken player that has ever existed, is basically calling for the nerf of Ling Xiaoyu. And he has put forward some fair clips to point out and say that this character is a bit ridiculous, she's breaking the rules of the game. One of Ling Xiaoyu's defining traits has always been that she can go under things that people normally can't go under. However, it seems a little bit more ridiculous in this and Ni nee provided further proof where he shows other characters that have a few moves that go under things and how they differ to Ling Xiaoyu. So I'll show that to you now. So as you can see there, there are a few characters like Safina, like Leo, 
who go under certain attacks, even to a lesser extent, Feng Wei will go under certain attacks. But there are universal attacks that will hit these characters out of their stances, but for whatever reason, it does not work on Ling Xiaoyu. Now, a lot of people have been flaming Ni on Twitter and saying, no, this is part of her personality, this is part of her defining features, this is what people identify Ling Xiaoyu as, we shouldn't nerf her. And I actually disagree with these people. I disagree with them quite heavily. Now, I'm a Feng Wei player, and you guys know that Feng Wei has a stance called Kenpo, and he can do back Kenpo. Now, in Tekken 7, and I don't know if it was in Tekken Tag 2 or Tekken 6, but definitely in Tekken 7, when you did back Kenpo, Feng Wei could auto block. So what that means is that if you catch me doing back Kenpo, I could usually block in time. So basically, back Kenpo is pretty safe for me to do. One of the nerfs they've given it in Tekken 8 is now when I do it, if you catch me, I will get hit. And I think that that is a fair nerf. I don't think that he should have an auto block in a stance that already allows him to evade quite a lot. Now in Ling Xiaoyu's instance, yes, there are other characters that can evade things quite low, like Feng Wei, like Leo, like Safina. And Ling Xiaoyu can do it the best. So what do you do to make it so that she's not like everybody else? Now, I don't mind her ducking under mids and highs if that's one of her attributes. It is very annoying, but I think that in a game where like Tekken, they have loads of mids that start quite low and they have mids that start quite high. I think the low hitting mids should always hit her and I don't mind the high hitting mids going over her. I'm not too fussed about that. Where I think it's really ridiculous is that there are actually some moves that are lows, actual lows, and she will go under them. And that doesn't even really make any sense and it might be hard to believe, but at some point you're probably gonna encounter online Ling Xiaoyu can actually go under lows now here's my suggestion and this might be a bit of a stupid suggestion but here's my suggestion to try and balance it out a little bit because Ling Xiaoyu can get around way too much and it kind of makes it annoying and she kind of shuts down a lot of your moveset once she goes into AOP and then she can hold down to go even further to the ground so even more mids will miss her. This is what I propose. I think that she should take counter hit damage when she's in that stance. I think that she should always be taking counter hit damage when she's in that stance. Now, I don't know enough about Ling Xiaoyu, so maybe I'm going to sound silly saying this, and maybe she does take extra damage. I don't know. But when I've been playing against her, even my shoulder with Feng Wei, who hits people on the floor, that shoulder will hit you when you're on the floor. It has whiffed on her, and I think that that is pretty ridiculous. Now, you could argue that the hitbox on the shoulder is ridiculous, but the fact of the matter is, is that the hitbox exists so that I can hit people on the floor and yet I can't hit her. So I am completely on the side when it, when it comes to this. How you nerf her is probably a bit more of a complex discussion so you don't pull away from her identity and her abilities to be able to duck under certain things that other characters can't. But I definitely don't think she should just have a get out of free jail card which is essentially what it is. I mean, ducking under lows, which doesn't even make sense anyway, is absolutely ridiculous. And as you guys saw in those examples, everybody else is getting hit with these moves and she isn't. So I think that the caveat to that should be, okay, well, if you want to duck under all these moves, when you go into that stance, you risk counter hit damage every single time, or you risk going into a counter hit state or something along those lines. Maybe she takes an extra 10 damage per moves, or maybe that's too extreme. I don't know. But I definitely think the AOP stance is a bit too overpowered. And like I said, I'm a Feng Wei player and nerfing the Kempo stance was completely justified. I always thought that having an auto blocking Kempo was pretty ridiculous. Now, obviously, if I'm going to have it, then I'm going to abuse it because it's my character. But if we're being fair, it's not a very fair thing. So I want to know what you guys think because Ling Xiaoyu mains were very, very upset that Ni was pointing this out. Obviously, Ni has a lot of sway when it comes to what works and what doesn't because he is a very knowledgeable Tekken player. You would say he's probably in like the top five most knowledgeable Tekken players of all time. I think he was one of the players that got almost all of his characters to Tekken God Omega in Tekken 7. So he really knows what he's talking about when it comes to balance in the game. And I'd say his opinion can be taken quite heavily. I wouldn't take his of a pinch of salt. If Ni says something needs nerfing even if you disagree with him i think it's worth discussing and exploring i'm actually in agreement with him how they nerf it i'm not entirely sure but i want to know from the ling Xiaoyu you plays because they were very passionate on twitter regarding this they really didn't want the nerfs to come in but at the end of the day if something's not fair i think they should nerf the character so i hope you guys enjoyed the videos today back with some more very very soon take care have a good day and peace